party people i was just going to start and uh, go wash my brushes but i realized i actually would like to sort them out and destash them and this would be a good time as you can see maybe if i put them closer i have uh, quite a few and these are new and those are also used and i think i want to declutter some of it and give it away or just get rid of it they're all good brushes but i honestly just used just used these and these pretty much for my makeup so i think it's time to get a bit rid of them so i'm gonna start maybe with eye brushes because i have these here and set them up all together so i can see them Starting with these small ones, I can already see I have four of these angled little brushes and a new one here from Essence. They're the eyeliner brushes. I love these. I have a new one, which of course I'm going to keep. And then a few of these. These two are frayed and quite broken. I think these were the first two I got and these two are still very fine. So I'm going to keep two and throw these two away. Then small eyeliner brushes. I have this one here, which is just a, an art brush. This one from a Morphe set. This small Real Techniques one. And Makeup Geek and a Zoeva one. I'm gonna get rid of the Zoeva, the Morphe, which I believe I actually never used. And I'm gonna keep these three. I don't really use these very much, but I want to um, have the option, especially for like Halloween looks and things like that. I'm gonna keep three, give away two. I am definitely going to keep my Real Techniques uh, lash comb and my spoolie. These I use very often. Then uh, let's get into more angled brushes. My god okay um from these difficult i am going to keep this one here is from zoeva it's the brow liner and it's uh, quite a big one and i use it underneath my brow bone i don't know if you guys can see this probably now better and i use this for underneath my lash line so i'm gonna keep this one I'm going to get rid of this, 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 probably this one, this Primark one, this Elf, this Morphe, and I guess I am going to keep these two Real Techniques one, this Catrice liner brush, and uh, this one here is from BH Cosmetics from a set I bought, and I think I want to give the whole set away so I'm gonna put it away to separate and put with that set there these are my lip brushes I only have three so I'm gonna keep all three because I need them sometimes and they're always super hard to clean so I'm gonna keep all three of these I am going to get rid of these wet and wild brushes I've used them for Halloween with looks before but for the sake of space I am going to get rid of them I am also going to get rid of these two. This is a Zoeva brow line. It's quite big and I saved already one of those. And this one is, I don't know where, it's a small crease brush, but I don't know from who or where. Um, but it's quite stiff, so I don't really use it very much. So I'm going to get rid of these two as well. And... What if I zoom you in closer? Is this better? Maybe you can see the brushes better. Um, I have some pencil brushes. This is from Zoeva. This is from Makeup Geek. And I love them both. So these I'm gonna keep for sure. These two little Real Techniques brushes I am going to keep because they're really nice. Same goes with this Zoeva small sh detail shader brush. It's nice and fluffy. It's perfect for inner corner highlights. I am going to get rid of this double-ended Primark brush. 
I never used it. I think it's probably almost new. Then from these, I think I am uh, going to keep them all because they all serve a purpose. This is a another precise shader from Zoeva. This is a Boozy Shop pencil, a Boozy Shop concealer brush, an off concealer brush, and this is a double-ended Urban Decay electric brush. And yeah, I use all of these, the e.l.f. ones especially for my glitters. More eye brushes and yeah, I think a lot of these are going to go. This one I can already see, this is an e.l.f. brush and it's all frayed already, so that can go in the trash. This, oof. This is also frayed already and probably this one as well. I'm gonna keep this one because it's quite difficult to find small definer brushes. So this I'm gonna keep and get rid of these two. I am going to keep the Makeup Geek pointed crease brush and this small Royal and Nagnico Omnia brush because they're really nice. I am going to get rid of this uh, Zoeva Looks Smoky shader, this Morphe brush that is nameless this big fluffy brush that is nameless, um, this Zoeva concealer buffer because I have too many of these anyways, and I'll keep this Sigma Small Taper Boozy brush and this e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. This is going very well, better than I expected. Except that my foot is cramping, ow. These are gonna be more difficult. These are my everyday brushes. As you can see, they're also the most dirty ones. <laughs> I have a feeling none of these are gonna go. This is my concealer brushes. These two, I don't know how they ended up in there. Real Techniques, uh, both of them a setting brush and this is the pointed foundation brush. They're both staying. These are the brushes I use to apply my foil shadows. I love them and they are discontinued essence brushes. I am never gonna give them away. So these stay. My fluffy brushes. One, two, three. Oh, so many. These are my favorites, a Zoevo 228. Two Morphe brushes. This first one is from a set. This is an R37. This other one is from a set. It's a bit smaller and tapered. And then my MAC 217, this one, and my Zoeva 227. These are all staying. I can't live without them. Or rather, I can't eyeshadow without them. These three are my smudger brushes. I use them all the time. I need them all the time. So these are just gonna stay. This is new. I just got it in my glossy box. So this is staying. This is a Colourpop eyeshadow brush, I believe, that I got as a thank you note from them because they were late. I um, never used it, but I'm gonna keep it. It feels very sturdy and probably good with lip products as well. These are some of my smaller blending brushes. Uh, a few Morphe. This in the middle is BH Cosmetics. This one is a Zoeva 231. And this is a Sigma E30. And I am going to keep them all because I use them on a regular basis. These are some of my favorite brushes. Especially this Morphe M506 I got recently from uh, uh, LA, from my trip in LA. It's really, really good. Then uh, these two brushes I use to apply my cream eyeshadows. This one I apply them with and this Real Techniques one I blend them with. So I'm gonna keep these two. This Real Techniques shading brush is amazing. I could never live without. This small Morphe brush from a 12 piece set is perfect for inner corner highlights. This is the Zoeva 234 Smoky Shader and I use it to apply shadows all over my lid. And this Morphe is also a nice shader brush. So these are all staying. As I said, I wasn't gonna do too well. These are the eyeshadow and lip brushes I'm keeping. And these ones I am 
getting rid of. So I think I did quite well. Face brushes. Let me throw some of them out and see what happens. <laughs> These ones like later. So, oof. this one I haven't even used since the last time I cleaned it. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. It's nice and tapered. Um, I guess I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Of these, I have two e.l.f. angled blush brushes and I'm gonna keep one and get rid of the other. I don't need two of them. Then I am going to get rid of this Royal and Lang Langnickel Pro Molda chisel brush that I got in a boxy charm, I believe. I just don't use it. It's quite bulky. And same goes with his brother. This is the pointed blush. As much as I love it, I already have a very similar one. So these are going to go. I am uh, also going to get rid of this crown brush with BoxyCharm that is an artiste brush dupe. My camera cut off, but I was say as I was saying, I never use this type of brush for my foundation. So this is gonna go. Then uh, of my real techniques, brushes. I'm definitely gonna keep these. They're two stippling brushes which I use for my uh, BB creams usually and this is the blush brush which is amazing so I'm definitely keeping these. I am also keeping my Real Techniques fan brush because I, it's the only fan brush I own and this dual fiber contour brush because I use it sometimes for full faces of paint or things like that. It's been very useful. This is a small contour brush, as is this one here, but you can see it's the two different edition of them. This is the original, this is from a newer set. I'm gonna keep both. I don't think I've ever used this contour brush, but yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the whole set, so I wanna keep them together. And this is a buffing brush. I love this for foundation. I'm definitely gonna keep it. These are three e.l.f. brushes. My stippling brush, a small stippling brush, and this is the highlight brush. I am gonna keep all three. I love these. I use these two for bronzer, two different types of bronzers, and this small stipple brush has been very useful in the past, so I am going to keep that one as well. I'm going to keep my Zoeva Lux Sheer Cheek. It's perfect to use with Nabla blushes that are uh, more difficult to pick up and this is really good. And uh, these are the ones that are left uh, are from the BH Cosmetics 10 piece brush set that I got and uh, as I mentioned I didn't really use these much and I don't reach for them. I think I'm gonna wash them and sell them on my blog because they're still very good and they come in this nice cup holder. So I think I'm just gonna sell these as, they, as a set because uh, they're good brushes, I just never reach for them. Then uh, these are again my everyday brushes, so I don't expect them to go anywhere. I adore my powder brush by Real Techniques, super recommended. And with this one you can get light coverage, so for lighter powder days. And this is the multitasking brush. And uh, with this one, it's a little bit more dense and shorter bristles, so you can get higher coverage. So I apply my powder foundations with this when I don't have a lot of liquid underneath. So these two definitely staying, as is my Real Techniques blush brush. Adore this one, really good. This is my new Morphe MB41. This I use for my bronzer, love it. This is my sculpting brush from Real Techniques. Love this one, the perfect contour brush. Um, this is my highlighter brush, the Real Techniques setting brush, love it. And this is the ColourPop uh, highlighter brush or like small fluffy brush. Um, I don't love it as much as this one, but it applies more product because it's denser. So I am going to keep it. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and my current foundation brush. So I am going to keep this one. 
This is the e.l.f. tapered, small tapered brush. This is my under eye setting brush, keeping this one. And this is my Eco Tool Skin Perfecting brush for BB creams and such. I'm not 100% sure how much I like this. I don't love it as much as my other brushes, so I'm still gonna test it for a little bit and in case get rid of it later. And surprise, I found more. These were in my dirtier pile because they're from my Katrina Sugar Skull makeup tutorial, so they have face paint. Um, except for this one, it's a Bare Minerals Perfecting Face Brush. It has a little dip inside and I really need to wash it out because it's all icky. Um, I adore this brush. This is absolutely perfect for BB creams and lighter formulas. So this is definitely gonna stay. This is a big elf perfecting face something and I think I'm gonna let this go because I am going to keep this Real Techniques buffing brush because I want to keep the set together. Two more Real Techniques brush. This is an angled fluffy brush and this is a smaller detail. Oh no, it's called the pointed liner brush. I'm gonna keep both of them because I use them as you see for other applications. This is my Zoeva 317. It used to be my favorite winged liner brush and now I love smaller ones but I still really like this one so I'm gonna keep it. This is an e.l.f. angled liner brush which is gonna go. And I think all of these are going to go. These are a mix of Zoeva and Morphe and this is from Primark. So these are just gonna go. I only use them for these let's say special effect makeups, not special effect, these darker and uh, weirder makeups, so I think I'm just gonna let them go. These two last ones, one is a lip brush, which I'm definitely gonna keep, and this is my Zoeva concealer buffer. As I said, I had more of these, so I'm gonna keep these two. Last things are these new brushes that I have. This is an e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush. I like this one, I'm gonna keep this. Um, this other e.l.f. eyeliner brush instead I am going to put on my blog for sale or in a giveaway something uh, because it's new and I haven't used it. And uh, this is my new set that I just received from the Ulta 20% off sale. It's the Illuminate and Accentuate set by Real Techniques. It contains a new big bronzer brush and then contour brush, and three eyeshadow brushes and two sponges. Amazing value, it, I think it was $29.99 plus I got 20% off. Love this, definitely gonna keep it and I'm gonna put these in my collection. So, overall, I am keeping these face brushes and these eye brushes and lip brushes. Still a lot of brushes, but I think since I do a lot of makeup and I don't wash them every day, I think it's a good variety that I can get through a week or so uh, without having to wash them again. And then I am getting rid of these for the face and these for the eyes. I think I did quite well. So I am now off to washing everything and uh, taking then pictures tomorrow for the blog. I think these are going to go on sale and maybe one or a few of these, but I don't think um, these are very interesting to be honest. They're all uh, low cost and um, used quite a bit. So I know some of these actually just need to go in the trash. So overall, I'm very happy with this declutter. I have way less brushes and I am gonna be much, much happier. Now wish me luck with washing all of these brushes out. I am uh, dreading it, just thinking about it. Thank you guys for hanging out with me during my declutter. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Go check out my declutter playlist that I'm gonna link at the end of this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and you can find the link to the blog sale down below as well. I will see you in the next one. Bye!